Hello, welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we are going to see the fourth post problem, game with board. So in this problem, Alice and Bob has to play a game and they have a blackboard. Initially there are n integer written on it. Each integer is equal to 1. So Alice and Bob take turns. Alice goes first. On their turn, the player has to choose several at least equal integers on the board. By them, write a new integer which is equal to their sum. So let's see. Uh, like this is, this is the example we have currently. So this is the scenario. Like initially all are ones, but currently we have this scenario. So when this is the scenario, so what we can do, Alice? Alice can choose these two integers or these three or two something like that. And but the mandatory part is like other person is able to choose something. We have to choose according to that. That there is a possibility of two integers having same numbers. Then you can win otherwise you will lose there only. So let's see some example to understand clearly. <coughs> so let's see if we have initially So let's say initially you have two numbers only, one and one. So Alice has a chance, Alice can choose these two. So we can write two. But now Bob has no chance. So Bob will been definitely here. Okay, so let it be is consider another case. One, two, three. So in this case, Alice has to choose two integers at least. So it will choose these. So it will be two and one. So there is no option available for Bob, and so Bob will win again. And let it be n equal to four. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, Alice first choose these two. Okay. Then Bob has also a choice. So, he can choose these. So, now again, Alice has the choice of choosing these two integers. So, it will be 4. Now, Bob has no choice. So, Bob will win here. Yeah. So, let's see some case where Alice will win. So let's take n equal to 5. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So in this case, suppose Alice choose only 2 integers or 3 integers. Whatever it has its way. So let's suppose Alice choose is starting 3 integers. So it will be 3, 1, 1. Because both play optimally. So Bob has two choice, only one choice that he has to choose these two integers. So it will be three and two. Now Alice has no choices, so Alice will win. So that means we have a clear cut solution here that if if n is greater than four, Alice. Else, Bob. Hope you understand this solution. Like this video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you.